Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I will show you how to make a 3D section and detail it and uh, make clear which materials that you use and also I will give you some uh, tips and tricks so you can uh, put the dimensions uh, where you want to be and uh, make a nice section of your 3D model. It's not that hard, just follow it and you will be amazed what you can do. So uh, I will not uh, chisel more, so let's get straight into it. So first things first, I will go to my 3D model of course, right here. Well, before you start uh, moving something or edit something, we will make here a duplicate, so right click and then we have duplicate view right here and then duplicate with detailing. Let's do this, All right. Now we're gonna rename it right here so we know which uh, 3D uh, model that we are using or view. Uh, we'll name it 3D video, voila. There we go, as you see we have here our um, uh, little house and I will make a section right through uh, here. So I will change the model view right here on top with the little cube. You can click just right on it and voila, the view is already good. Now you select the section box by just hovering over it and you will see it lights up. Just click on it and now those little arrows right here, here, here and here, you can move on it. So we will just grab it and just maybe right here. Oh, voila, there we go. I will hide this little man because we don't need it. And we will move it maybe a little more like this. Voila, this will be better. Now we can zoom in. And first of all, you see the angle is uh, right or a bit too sharp to see uh, more. So we're gonna rotate the model itself. but first you can just hide the section box on so right click in it hide in view element and it's gone we have a better view now and right here on this little round underneath the cube you can just rotate it and then we're gonna do it like this right yes or maybe mm, yes that's all right now we already done that and now we have just uh, one more important thing before you start annotating uh, stuff on the 3D model. Right here, you have a house with a uh, lock icon. Why is that uh, important? If you don't lock the, um, the view where you are in it, you just can still move it and do things like this, but we don't want that. Because if you had that, you will see I will just uh, put some uh, text on it. Maybe he won't do it because I don't locked it. And I will just type it uh, not locked right here. Voila. And now if you see that stands right here and it's okay. But if you don't lock the view and you just do it like this, you see the text is not really nice anymore so keep in keep in mind that you lock your view and how we do that it's very simple it's just here right here on the bottom just click on it and then save orientation and lock view voila now when you lock you lock the view you will see on this icon here the lock is on and it's uh, yellow now so that means that we can't rotate it anymore i can't select anything on the cube so that's already the good part well the next part that we're going to do we can choose we can just first uh, put a dimension on it and then the text and so on so that's the next thing that we're going to do so the next thing that we're going to do is put some dimension on your 3d model well, the dimensions are a little bit tricky. Why? Um, you need to choose in which work plane that you are before you can uh, put a dimension. Like, for example, I want to uh, dimension the ceiling to the floor like this. And 
we have nothing, just zero. Why is that? Very simple. We need to work with our work planes uh, to get a better view where your work plane is. You go to the architecture tab, right here you do show, and now we see um, our work plane is uh, horizontally. That means that we can uh, put the dimension from wall to wall, but not from ceiling to ceiling. If you want it from uh, uh, ceiling to ceiling, uh, ceiling to floor, I mean, if you want it to uh, put that dimension from ceiling to floor, you just go to set right here, then pick a plane, and then we're gonna choose the wall, if you can grab it, of course, voila, just click it, and now we see our window is now vertical, that means that you can put a vertical dimension. So I will show you guys, like here is the ceiling, voila and then we have our uh, floor and now we see if i click right here boom voila and i will hide it again so here voila we have here our height to the from uh, the ceiling to the floor well we can continue and just uh, show how thick our um, uh, package is we can do it like this voila but I don't want that of course it's a little bit tricky and the next thing that we that we're gonna do is now if I want to uh, put this height you will see they mention right here and here is quite far away I need to place it here why is that again because the work plane we're gonna set it on show is standing right here so if you pick a new plane right here on the, the the second level we can put a dimension again dy uh, more closer like here we can just hover it and boom and now it stands just uh, on the wall because this plane depends where the dimension will be if you have a reference lane right in the center of the model well your um, your dimension will be in the same exact place where the uh, reference uh, reference line is. So voila, there we have our two heights. Now we're gonna oh, select a big plane. You can do it also in this way. And now we're going to horizontally, voila, put a new dimension on it right here from this wall to this wall and make it its a bit exactly like this this looks better oh my bad <laughs> and there we go now we're gonna do the same for the second floor you can do again pick a plane voila don't shortcut dy for the dimension wall to wall and we're gonna make sure it's aligning to the same arrow and I'm gonna show it off and voila there you have it you have your four dimensions it's really nice now the next thing that we're going to do is add some uh, floor passes so we go to the annotate right here and then we're gonna do spot elevations and I will search for this one right here just click randomly um, on the floor right here um, okay I will not do it with the leader or shoulder don't do that voila and just click boom now the next thing that we need to do a little bit is this zero move a little bit up and voila there we go we go to the next one and for level one just click voila now just with the blue dots we go right here and damn that looks already nice now the next thing is for the ceiling height I like to do that and we just gonna select voila now the blue dot oh uh, right here uh, oh, maybe a little bit more Ooh, that's better and voila we already have this so the next thing that we are or can do is of course um, put the text on it and tag everything that we uh, need 
Now for the dimensions, like I mentioned with reference line, I can show you a little trick about that. It's very easy. So to do that, you, you of course need to go to the floor plan or the second uh, plan, second floor plan. And right here, we have here our uh, center of our roof. And I will put a reference uh, plane right here, right? Maybe like this. And then to be sure, we're gonna name it to 3D dimension. Voila. Oh, sorry. And now we go to the uh, 3D section again. And to put a dimension, I want this from this ceiling to the floor. So, uh, how are we gonna do that? Very simple. Instead uh, of pick a plane right here, we're gonna set a work plane. Now, here we're gonna uh, specify a new work plane by name and not pick a plane. So right click down here and now we search for our name 3D dimension reference plane. You click on that, click OK and to be sure if you have the right one just put show and voila there we have it. That's the right reference lane. So we go to dimension again, go to the floor and the ceiling and Ho, ho, ho. look at that and now we have oh my bad <laughs> and now we have our dimension ho, ho. that looks pretty beautiful and then you can hide it again and that's how you can do it you can just uh, move it again with the arrow arrow keys of course if you don't like it now if you want to be on this same line like this hopla, let's go that's how you do it with a reference plane. It's just the same like a pick a plane, but if you use a reference plane, you can just uh, place it wherever you want. And I forgot to annotate this one, of course. <laughs> My bad. And now we're gonna do again with the blue dots. Oh. And voila, there you uh, have it. Now, now it's time to uh, set some text of course so again if you do with arrow keys you can move it all along the place you prefer and voila that looks a little bit better now for the text very uh, yeah same nothing special you just go to the annotate tab right here go to text and just place it everywhere or anywhere that you want like this and now we're gonna uh, go for the floor so, uh, like this, and then we're going to change it. Um, we'll use uh, Dutch terms because it's easier for me. <laughs> I don't know exactly uh, in English, so uh, I, don't you guys, I hope you guys uh, don't mind it. <laughs> so we have first layer, uh, we have this, and then the second one is and the second one, oh, second one is uppercase, and then we have our yes, and this upfala, upfala, and then we have our uh, and voila, that's it. Now we can just. Uh, can save it don't forget it guys <laughs> then you just can move it right here just like this and voila and now the second thing that you're gonna do if you want the line I will show you a little trick how you can make it nice so you right here just click on the text and then right here you just add a leader now that doesn't really do much well you do just like this when it's straight and then you just bring it to an angle and it automatically snaps and voila this looks very very nice and now we can do it for all the other materials you're just gonna copy it like this shortcut and then uh, move it right here and move it right here so again with the arrow keys you can just move it along where you want. I will not change the names because it will 
uh, take too many uh, minutes of your time. So that's how you can annotate it. Now for the tags, just the same, just go to annotate, then you go to tag by category, and you just click right here, if I have my window, voila, and there you go. Now for the next window, I will do it like this, and oh, that's the wall, but okay, we can do it the same. And category for wall, just like this. And yeah, I just need to name my wall and for the window here and for this window here, we can, oh, that's my wall again, lol, my bad. <laughs> and for the window here, we can just do it the same. We can change the arrow like this, voila. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, how you guys can do it. It's not that hard, you can just move it or edit it and just do things like this, move the arrows like this, move it more up, voila, move it down like this. Oh, so much things that you can do with the rivet, voila. And that's how you guys actually annotate it. And, um, that's quite it for the video. So that's how easy it is when you have a 3D, you can easily just put a section on it, put dimension on it, put text on it, and you will have a lot of other section to view at, and it's pleasing to view, to see, of course. Um, for a single text, you can do it also, like just put, um, I will do game block, all right. And I will make a copy from it for the other one to show it. Uh, okay, voila, yes. And then you can move it right here. This one you can move right here. And the same, you can just add a leader right here. And voila, just do it like this. Zoom a little bit so we can see more. Up, okay. That's pretty nice. I will just do it straight. Or you can do it like this if you want, or this, you can always choose later on. And again, just add a leader and voila. That's how you can do it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's that easy. It's not really hard, um, but if you don't know, it's hard, of course. So. Um, that's quite it. Now we can go further like this and annotate everything that you want to be. Uh, anything like, for example, for the wall, of course, and other stuff. You can do uh, pretty much uh, more things and make nice views. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.